Hi, this uh, video um, serves to give you an overview of fenestrations and the calculations involved and uh, we specifically going to focus on uh, the natural environmental control or the natural um, fenestration uh, report. In future uh, movies we will look at the mechanical um, report. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start uh, an empty um, project. So I'll click on new and give it a name, say uh, project one. Right, that saves in my uh, documents and um, uh, the building or the project is created. Within the project, I can now go to my building tools and then uh, add a building. Right, within the building, I can right click uh, area. I can right click and edit that and that's my proposed dwelling um, if required. Right, then uh, within that um, I can set the location of the building if I know the zones. Alternatively I can just select it from a map maybe in uh, Johannesburg. Right, then the orientation of the building I can select that and this is not specifically required for fenestrations but I might just uh, do it while I have the um, information. Right then, uh, if I have the, uh, the the floor area including the vertical elements, I can certainly add it in here. This is also more used for the um, services where the um, the net floor area is more used for the fenestration calculations. Right, that done. Um, uh, usually, it's a good idea to just save. Um, as you go uh, along. Right, then typical for fenestrations you need to add a story so I'll click that and um, <clears throat> notice that or note that if I go to the to the building I have the building related um, modules appear and if I click on the story um, I've got the fenestration uh, or, or the modules that uh, appear that are related to a story. Right, this story I can right click and edit um, and uh, change um, the um, the name of the, the item. I could also add additional stories and obviously just right click and remove or delete if required. Alright, so going back to uh, story one. Um, within the story one uh, it's a good idea to first add your areas or your rooms and um, I go and say add an element. Uh, within the element I can uh, give it a name, say room 1, uh, I can give that room uh, a length and a width and that will generate the area and the allowables, uh, conductance and solar heat gain. Right, um, then if I go to um, add another element just to show you something else, if I say room 2, um, I can, if it's a circular room I don't have to add that but simply just the area and uh, that will just translate into the uh, allowables. Right, that done, um, I can go click on save and then go into the next uh, area. Right, um, I'm going to skip the facade area because that only uh, applies to the mechanical uh, reports, uh, ventilation reports. So I'm going to go back to the windows and add a, a simple window by clicking add element. Uh, this could be the unique identifier that cross references to your drawing plans. And then um, I'm going to put a height in meters for my um, um, uh, window and also the width. Um, and that will give me the area. The shading, uh, external shading device, uh, if it uh, blocks 100% um, of the solar radiation uh, in summer, then you can put in 100% in here, um, or a very, uh, from 80% to 100, or zero if there's no shading device. Then the value of G is basically um, the vertical distance from uh, the top of the uh, glazing element to the shadow casting area. Um, there's also, a, 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 if it's more than uh, five, uh, 500 mils or 0 0.5 meters, then it impacts um, the the H and um, the pH um, in halving it. Right then, the, the vertical or the horizontal um, distance from the glazing part to the underside of the um, uh, shadow casting element, you also add that um, uh, relates to the pH. Um, obviously H being calculated, uh, taking the height of the story and uh, 
taking the G and the H uh, and then giving you a certain uh, information. Right, then uh, looking at the orientation, I'll go and say, right, let's um, uh, put this in a specific uh, orientation, this window element, and then the glazing and uh, the glazing type. That will then, uh, from the SANS documents, pull the U value and the solar heat gain and then calculate the rest. You could also, if you have different glazing um, uh, suppliers, you can also add a custom value in, in the glazing and the, um, the frame type. Right, um, then you can add a, a second element. Uh, I just want to briefly add uh, one in here, um, somewhat similar, and then um, 0 0.4, 0 0.6. And, uh, and how you would, um, uh, what I just want to show here is that uh, you can multi select both of these by holding down shift uh, or picking the first, holding down shift, picking the last. Now I've uh, multi selected them, and here I can change these values 0 0.5 and apply, and both of those will change. Um, I can do similar with the um, um, with a p-value and then uh, also with the glazing maybe uh, tinted and uh, double or timber apply that and it will just adjust the rest right so that's a quick time saver if you need to do multiple uh, edits right then um, whatever I now did with the glazing so you can or for the windows so you can uh, do for the, the glazed doors exactly the same mythology as well as the um, curtain walls Right, we just separated it from uh, each other because of the link to Revit. As the um, objects come in from Revit, um, these different columns get, uh, tabs get populated with the specific elements. Right, then um, once that's done, um, I can simply go and save it and then uh, look at the report. Um, it's a good idea to save it here. However, if I click on the report uh, button, um, automatically it will just save it in the background as well. All right, so then I select my building, and uh, within the building, the first thing that you uh, typically check is the um, the area here. Um, now, if you have more than 15% glazed versus floor area, then you need to do the calculations. Otherwise, um, you if it's less, like in our case, um, it's only nearly 4%, you actually don't have to submit um, fenestration uh, calculations. But in any case, um, these are the natural ones. Uh, it's basically under story one, uh, my conductance and uh, solar heat gain for that uh, window element. And then the um, uh, that just get added up and uh, compared to the allowables based on the floor area and the zone. And um, our natural is uh, a natural environmental control illustration report is um, oh, compliant. Um, so you can uh, print it out or export it to PDF. Um, just note also that if you do go back to the to the grid, as we call it, um, you can go and export this grid a, as an Excel or a PDF, which just um, serves as a supporting documentation to the to the report um, uh, as well. All right. So that uh, concludes the uh, overview for the natural environmental control uh, with regards to penetrations. Right, in the next movie we'll look at the mechanical um, ventilation and uh, in this related to penetrations.